Hey, hey Eagles. Eagles, I'm Jay. And I'm Gavin. And welcome, welcome to this week's episode, episode of Eagle, Eagle Eye News. Please rise for the pledge and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For the second year in a row, the Lakes Evergreen Club is partnering with Tree Plenish. Their goal is to plant at least 20 trees to offset the paper usage by the school. You can order a sapling for $5 online. Talk to Beth Kunkel or Arya Patel for more information. This year's musical, Pippin, is showing right now. Show 2 opens tonight at 7 p.m. in Auditorium. Tickets can be purchased at eagletheater.com. Can't catch tonight's show? There are two more on Saturday at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. If you are uncomfortable attending the show in person, it'll be live streamed at eagletheater.com. That's theater, spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Last week's Anything But a Backpack Day seemed to be a hit. Ian takes a look at all the creative book carriers. We went around the halls to figure out what the heck people are bringing to school instead of backpacks today. Mr. West, what is that? It's a bindle. <laughs> <laughs> a sled and a kid on it. <laughs> what, what is this? It's a wheelbarrow. Hey, sled, how's that going out for you? Uh, pretty good. You just got your backpack in a sled? That's cheating. It's not really. Uh, it's anything but a backpack day. I mean, this is um a state-of-the-art toaster. Making bread in here. How's that working out for you? Uh, it's a little heavy, man. It keeps it fresh, you know. Uh, what are you gonna do if it's too much? Uh, make her carry it. Are you going on vacation this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, that's the suitcase for. Yeah, um, I'm going to Disney World. Man. Uh, great. I had to bring a separate bag, but people have really liked them. So, yeah, I'm living my best life. You spilled your water in there. You're going to get your stuff dirty. Yeah, maybe a little bit. You think you're going to last all day with this? Oh, yeah. I got the elevator, so I'm good. Oh, yeah. Will that even fit in the elevator? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Have fun. Good luck. All right, Evie. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a seed spreader. Apparently, I'm not the only one who has it, but, you know. Have you been carrying this up the stairs, or have you been using the elevators? Uh, I'm not a wuss, so I've been carrying it up the stairs. Jake, what? Um, you know, there was an idea. How did you get it? So, uh, it was, um, it's very inconvenient, and I, I love it. Are you going on vacation? Yeah. I Where am. are you going? Where are you going? Cancun. Cancun? Yeah, it's beach day. It's beach day? Yeah. Good stuff. What's it been like driving the car around all day? Um, it's been pretty nice. It's a nice ride. It's nice. Have you been yelled at by anyone for it yet? Uh, no. Haven't. Did you prefer the Walmart shopping cart or the Home Depot shopping cart? I gotta go with the Home Depot. I'm partial to the orange and I think it's more spacious. Blue, uh, blue is the lake's color. Michael, <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, it's a backpack. This is a, this is a floor tom. Says who? I. Well, it, it doesn't sound like one. It looks like one to me. This is what I have as my backpack. Have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, what she even said. Uh a toaster. A toaster oven. Fun and games aside, let's talk about fun and games. Here's Brooke and Addison with sports. Hey, hey Eagles. Eagles. I'm Brooke. And I'm Addison. And, and this, this is sports. sports. Spring sports have officially started. If you're looking to join a team, check your daily announcements email for contact info. Speaking of which, last weekend was the District 117 clash at the Coliseum. 22 schools competed at the district-wide event in the Fieldhouse. Paul Migas cleared 15 feet and 2 inches, making him the third best sophomore pole vaulter in the nation. Jordan, Quinn, Bobby, Tony, and Jackson scored personal records on the track, and Casey, Ronan, Kevin, and Paul achieved PRs on the field. What about athletes who haven't started competing yet? 
Brooke Page and I talked to some athletes about how their offseason is going. I'm Jack Miller and I play baseball here at Lake. Carlin Byrne, I play baseball. I'm Chloe Kilroy, I'm a senior and I throw for our track team. My name's Paul Migas, I'm a sophomore and I pole vault. I'm Max, I'm a senior on the lacrosse team. Uh, the team chemistry and being around everyone and you make a ton of friends. Uh, like the team chemistry and like I'm especially looking forward to the Antioch series because it's always competitive. I've been in the program for four years. Um, my junior year I was just the manager because I got injured but I stuck with it so I'm back this year. Um, I've played basketball since I was like six I think. T-ball so like ten probably. I've been in track since middle school so I started in sixth grade I guess. I've been playing lacrosse since I was like nine-ish so I don't know how many years that is like nine I guess. My favorite memory from track either Junior Olympics or winning state. My favorite memory is probably one of the guy's shoe fell off in the ring when he was throwing and he totally wiped out. Uh, probably the Antioch series last year because it, like, it was really competitive and it was fun like, beating him. Favorite memory? Oh man, there's so many. I can't even count them. I would say beating Warren was probably up there because they were seeded number two in the state when we beat them. When we hit a walk-off win last year and we all were jumping around on home plate and yeah. Ooh, I wouldn't really say this year I've had any really big challenges, but last year I guess I, I had my biggest challenge because I was injured all season. So just like coming over like the like, just fear of like getting injured again, just trying to stay healthy. Well, this year we haven't had enough guys, so we're currently battling with only having one team. Instead of having a varsity and a JV, we're only going to have a varsity. Are going to beat Antioch this year? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we definitely should. Antioch is garbage. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys think that you guys are going to beat Antioch? Oh, for sure. We killed them last year. And quick PSA, if you want to play lacrosse or you have uh, friends playing lacrosse, please come out because we need more guys to play. Um, we'll have a JV team, so if you're unexperienced, then it doesn't matter. And that's it for sports. Now, now let's throw it over to the Royal Rush, Rush for your Royal Rush, Rush update. And on Friday, we got our Lakes musical. We have Pippin going on. Be there! And on Saturday, March 5th, we got a girls track meet in the field house. Be there! That's it for this week, Eagles. If you have any suggestions, questions, or announcements, please send them to EEN22 at chsd117.org. Want more EEN? Check out this week's EEN After Hours. If that's still not enough for you, check out our Instagram at Lakes EEN for exclusive behind-the-scenes and extra content. I'm Gavin. And I'm Jake. Signing, Signing off for Eagle Eye, Eye News. News.